going to be, yeah, it makes sense more. Off lane, <laughs> off lane puck carry void. Oh my god, he's go okay, he's going to get a lot of damage now. <laughs> Oh, right now he doesn't have much help. Puck is currently burning. MP's really getting up in front of him. He'll hit Poppy, but Yapsaw, the damage is already too high. Afu is burning to the burning spears. Afu. Oh, the cold snap interrupts his stomp. Poppy was able to get vision of him on top of the shrine. And LFY don't really want to fight around here. This is on top of the shrine. Just accept the fact the Elder Titan is gone. Is that a witch MP. doctor comp uh, combining? Yeah, MP's on the run behind the tower. And, well, double TPs are on the way. Husker, we'll see just how tanky he is. Jumps over, goes towards DDC. Puppy able to get the Shallow Grave off, so you can say goodbye to DDC. And how far can they go? Far enough. When the Spirit is down, they'll find the kill. Onto the Husker. A good one here for LFY. They would like some more. Monet's going to arrive. Chrono's available. No real reason to expend it, not just for a Rubik. The two big pickoffs that had to happen, and they both go the way of the DK. To get the tower. If they can't get the tower when they pop up their big spell, it's going to be really bad for them. Oh, I don't know if there's really a follow-up here. The orb, okay, with the ET splitter and the dream coil. Oh, the commitment right. on Puppy was huge. Is there a call snap? There is. Inflame will lose his life to take the kill. Not sure if this is going to be good for them. Right yep, saw the time walk in, and they still hit the Sunstrike. Even with a telekinesis grab, Crystal Maiden ended up walking into it. Oh, see, Team Secret looking for it. They four men smoke up. They'll oh, walk no, actually, Roshan. near no. Roshan, but more than likely they're going to have to secure this area up next to the shrine. And they've got a really good target. Yapsaw can catch oh. Afu and the pocket position. The Sunstrike will connect onto Inflame, and Monet wants to come and join in the, the fun. Elder Titan will have to get the stomp off, but MP doesn't care. The burn is just too good. Possible as a void, because that would reduce the chances of getting a good Chronosphere. Yep. Oh, here comes Kezu into sentry. the back lines. The sentry's there, but it won't matter when he hits the stun into the sun strike and fade bolt. All the control they want. Puck actually did absolutely no damage with that level four rift. Oh, they're gonna try and stomp him. Jump forward. Rubik actually getting caught by that, and Kezu's gonna miss his stun. Does not want to go back down the road of yesterday. Had a very rough game on his next assassin. And top lane, Invoker's gonna try to set up something for his team. Tornado, and someone's gonna TP in. Oh, where's the help? It's going to be, well, it's it's Yapsor on the way. Uh, oh, star, the TP, it gets cancelled. Oh, the Chronosphere, it caught three. The Sunstrike should be able to connect over on the puck. But DDC, it is the perfect freezing field. They can't run away and they can't survive. Huskar Frostbit, Nub needs to toggle his way to absolute freedom. It won't happen. A stop down from Arfu, cancelling the toggle and finding the kill onto MP. Yamsor hiding, he's got Time Walk available. Doesn't actually have his TP up though and cannot blink away to safety. A huge fight for LFY, stopping the gank on top. Oh, and then they smoke right on top of it. I thought they were peeing that they knew that, okay. I don't know, man. They were peeing there, it's like, okay. Here we go, in towards the mid, the Dragonite gets hit, piercing the BKB was the Sun Strike, stun the face is void, and what's stolen, it's gonna be the Time Walk oh, for the moment. Purpose. He leaves forward, Mona cannot find himself a, a, a chrono target. It's gotta basically be MP if they wanna get the kill. Tornado picks oh, up he the missed. Puck. He should actually go down to that one, the Chronosphere. It separates Puppy. It kept Puppy at least away from getting the Shallow Grave off. So Huskar will fall down, Monet's on the run, the Sun Strike again. Actually, this time it's gonna miss. Super's a little bit too far forward, mid one getting stomped up, but now they're on top of the Shrine. With the Ice Wall, DK slowed up, Keizu having his stun available, but that's right, the Dragonite has to turn into his own Dragon Tail. Yapsaw with this Time Walk and Blink Dagger. He's just everywhere in this fight, it's keeping the control and enabling mid one to find one kill. The Tornado, Crystal Maiden forced after herself into a spin. Keizu will hit with the Vendetta, and one more attack, it's gonna be Yapsaw to seal the deal with the Fade Bolt and find the kill. He needs to face shift right away to avoid getting Carapace stunned. Chrono, 15 seconds. Do they have the time? They're buying time with the Spirit, but Roshan's still falling fast, down to 1700. Oh, Here comes your orb, the three-man stun from Kezu. Super triggers off the BKB, they want the Huskar dead. He's got one charge, it's available, plus the Shallow Grave from Puppy. Ready for the secondary heal, plus the Weave. Burn on DDC, not too happy when he gets hit by the Meteorite, but they're happy when they bring down the Huskar. Kezu causing more problems, or is he? He's moving with mid one. Running oh, away no. from the pit, but Roshan's so low. LFY, they're going to go inside the pit. They will be the ones to claim Roshan. Yamsaw's thinking about a kind of YOLO play, a blink at a time walk, but it would be one way to do it. Don't see Secret being able to hold here. Well, mid one's trying to. He's very, very close. Thanks to their Observer and Sentry, they managed to deward LFY's obs they had. 
which was up on the hillside. Oh. Maybe a reason why Puck's coming in closer. Super in very, very far, but Mone got the chrono and he got the big one. He caught out Dazzle, but the stuns, the stun strike is all going to hit. Puck sharing the burden, so Mone, he will finally go down had the Aegis expended. But both the supports from Team Secret are down. And with the stomp, they catch Nick's assassin. They may not know it. Okay, they definitely know it. The ET splitter snaps him, holds him in position. Super and Inflame working together to get the damage out. Puppy had to fight back into this fight. Super, the ice wall will slow him up. But where is the vision? Where is the detection? It doesn't exist. It's a while away. Speaking of Ags, that's actually what Inflame went for. He uh, took the BKB out huh, quick by and went for a straight up Agon Interceptor. Going underneath the OBS and Sentry, Keizu actually does get the Spike Carapace. Oh, the Chrono! The, the Chrono! It hits on four with a spill damage! Oh. The ET Splitter! Team oh. Secret! It's over! It's done! It's dusted! In fact, you have lost almost everyone. Mid one under the cover is BKB will come back home. But no one from Team Secret had buybacks. LFY Mone hits the sweet spot. Okay, here we go. Can we see a big chrono once again? Oh, look for it. Spirit moves up. It's actually going to connect into Kezu, and they know it just because of it. And there's your dream call. They hold the Nyx Assassin in position, and maybe the Huskar. Can they bring him down? Nyx will fall. Here comes your Sunstrike. Huskar wants to try and fight this one. At least he's low on life, so he's got some damage for the Chrono Sphere. It hits the Huskar. It hits the Invoker. Shallow Grave has to be used to keep MP alive, but Yule Scepter up and towards the air. Hits the ground, and now Jeez. toggle, toggle. It won't happen. Team Secret. Four down again. This time, it's Yapsaur is the sole survivor. LFY will take a second lane of racks, guaranteed. You see that? Team Secret now lost their mid racks and LFY. Roshan time and the game after. Bounty rune. In fact, actually, there's no observer wall. They don't see it uh, at all. They, they have an observer on the CM. CM is placing. Okay. Oh, LFY, the dream call, the double silence on Huska as well as Dazzle. No shallow grave for this fight. The stun, however, catching the other Titan. Monet, Kronos, grabs both the invoker. In fact, mid one, no, he's not inside that. It's just perma time lock. Yabsol was the man inside of it. He's got Chronosphere available. Monet's okay with that. He can walk quite freely inside the Chronosphere. But it's over. GG. LFY just won too many fantastic team fights, and Team Secret will lose game one to a superb play from LFY. Now the pick order. Ten so when we look at the draws, the sequence of picks is tells you a lot about the game. But they can also look with uh, wait. Okay, rolling boulders to do the stack. So he's rolling bouldering stacking. Trouble on bottom lane. X marks the oh, spot's gonna drag God. the nice socket back into the fight. Kick will fly through. It hits on the morphling who's tanking up the tower. Rumbles, but he's just a menace around the map at this stage of the game. Oh, they saw Puppy in the trees. Take to the skies. You'll see Puppy quite clearly. Drop on down. Forge Zen flies forward. So ancient apparition rooted to the ground. Yamsel's gonna help out. X mark spot in the Oracle. So Team Seeker try and look oh. for a counter, but the three man, she's only a two man kick from Afu. Creates no space, it's a one for one trade off on the supports. If Oracle is nearby, I'm not sure if that can happen. Yeah, so they're trying to de ward. The oh, sentry was stun. down, but the kick from Afu catches two with the silence. Kunka can't do Jack Puppy. At least he'll get the 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 blast off with the Syrian chains. They have a chance to finally get a oh kill. My but God, no, CDC? CDC can just hold them alive. Then the Guardian Angel. So Super can't get the instant kill, but the stacks, they're going to begin. Monet will join Arthur rolling bottles away. LFY are not losing anything here. They're taking it all from Team Secret. Oh my God, that was so darn good. Oh, silence, mid, Ember Spirit, that ain't happening. But they bait out the Ice Blast. It'll fly over the top of the Earth Spirit. Purification under one of the creeps, dropping our food down low. Doesn't look like he's within Shatter, but if you can pull him back, X marks a spot, Torrent and Boat, he's still alive. It is DDC at the right place at the right time. The kick connects onto the Kunker. Yapsaw out of mana, 10 stick charges available. That won't be enough for him to survive. And there come high ground. Is that Rex? With no Kunker and you just committed your two big ultimates? Maybe. Yep, Yapsaw's here. Torrent, it's only going to control up the Night Stalker and they just go on him. The Shrine's been triggered. They need the life that's not enough to keep Yapsaw alive. And mid one will also fall. The nukage from the rear is just so high. There's too much sustain, too much magic, like a hood on Night Stalker, a pipe on Bristleback, Fate's eating on the Oracle. MP gets like three attacks from Monet on him and already feels like he has to back out. Because there's just not enough mana for him to fight they, either. They the kick not... connects. Morphling is almost dry. Weaver will have to time lapse out this damage. Able to do so. A three, four man silence, in fact. They are not killing this Bristleback. 
Here comes your Ice Blast. And at least chill him up. Monet dodged it. Remember, he's got the Aegis Immortal. They turn around, they focus on to mid one. Defusal, they had the Mech Charge and the Guardian Angel kicking off. Nice torrent as well as Shift from Yamsaw. Create space keeping the supports in control, but it doesn't matter. Not when the cores of LFY are just so damn big. This game, it's over. GG, Poppy will call it. 23 minutes it took. And LFY will advance themselves through into the semi-finals, directly into the semi-finals, where they will face up against the winner of Virtus Pro, and, and Team Seeker will face up against Invictus Gaming.